All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's your brother Malachi coming at you with another video. But first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kadash. And in the ancient Hebrew tongue, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His begotten Son, our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching this truth and having 100% truth and enlightenment on the highways and byways, teaching the like doctrine, putting up videos diligently throughout the week, feeding the sheep. Shalom to you. So I'm going to title this uh, lesson, You Israelites Are Cringy, okay? And the reason why you're, you're so cringy, because I keep hearing this term, black, black. Black. I'm black. Black lives matter. Okay. Black lives matter. Black life. You're not a fucking, excuse me. You're not a color, man. Okay. And you're not the color black. Now let's get into it. First thing I want to do. I want to type in black people. Now, let's go to images. Boom. These are so-called black people, which we know are Israelites. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? But I'm talking about you, you so-called uh, uh, African Americans, okay? Now, what do you notice? Look at this woman here. Her shirt is black. Look at her color. She's brown. Okay. This guy here, his shirt, Salakia, but it says, his, uh, well, his shirt is black. Okay. He is brown. Below him, this guy to the right, his suit looks black. His shirt looks white. Okay. Which white, the so called white man, he's not even white. You don't see a, a, a person walking around looking like the uh, the shirt he has underneath his uh, his suit. OK, but this guy is black. This is a, a comedian, Chris Rock. His suit is black. He is brown. OK. So. You're not. As you can see, this this woman here. Her outfit, what she has on, uh, 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 her garments are black. She is another shade of what? Brown. Okay? You are not black people. That term was invented, I believe, in 1681. Okay? And it was a term to basically distinguish the, uh, the social classes. Okay? <clears throat> because up to that point, every th there wasn't a... a you know, there wasn't a a, a, a a term that could separate the so-called white people from the so-called black people. OK. And that term, once it was used, it became a negative versus positive. That's why everything that's associated with black is negative. Black ice, black male, uh, black bald. OK. <clears throat> These are all negative terms. And when you think of white, what do you think of? Pure. Okay. Once again, showing you the deception of uh, 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 the, the devil, man. Okay. Esau, Edom. Okay. They came up with these terms to try to reclassify uh, uh, humanity. Okay. So you, 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 you are not black people. None of these people here are black. This guy here, his shirt is black. He is another shade of brown. So do you understand how silly you people sound out there when you keep saying you're black, you're black, you're black? Okay, let me get into some scripts, man. Okay, so this is, I got it queued up. This is Revelation 4. And I'm going to read from the top. It says, after this, I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard 
was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, come up hither and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit and behold, a throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne. So John, he's now in the spirit. OK, and he's seeing uh, uh, the heavenly father. OK, being on the throne. Now, let's read verse three. It says, and he set. So like, and he that set was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. So when John saw, he saw the heavenly father and he said that when he looked upon it, he looked like a jasper and a sardine stone. So let's check this out. Jasper stone. Images. Now, what do you know? Look at this. A jasper stone. What color is this jasper stone? Is it black? No, it looks like another shade of what? Brown. Okay. Jasper stones. Look, looks like a, 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 a shade of red, like a shade of brown. Okay. This is another jasper stone. Okay, another shade of brown. Wow, what the hell? So, the Heavenly Father, what John saw was that he looked like a shade of brown, like a jasper stone, like a red, like almost, you know, um, I have a, you know, <clears throat> you ever look at like a Native American and they're like, they're, they're really brown, but it's like they're red. OK, like maybe if like they're in the sun for too long or if it's kind of hot, like their face will turn red. But it's, it's red in the sense of it's like a, a, a brown, like a jasper stone. <laughs> OK, we are different shades of brown. We're not black. Let's go into sardine stone. Look at this. A sardine stone. It looks brownish to the point. It looks, it looks it's like red. Okay. Look at that. Brown. Look at that. That's like a brown uh, uh, sardine stone, okay? These are different shades of brown. Our people are different shades of brown. So let's go back. I'll read it again. It says, And he that set, <clears throat> and he that set was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne and this in sight like unto an emerald. So the, the heavenly father, he had a face like a jasper or a sardine stone. So he would look like a so-called black person. OK. And matter of fact, I got it. I think I got it queued up as well. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I'm going to read from the top, and this is just showing you that Yahawashai, our Savior, he's coming from the tribe of Judah. So he would be considered a so-called African-American, okay? His color, he's going to look like a, a, a jasper, okay? A jasper or a sardine stone, just like what the so-called black people today look like, okay? They don't look like the damn color black, okay? That was a term given to us by our oppressors. But this is Revelation 5. I'll start from the top. 
And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and, and to read the book, neither to look thereon. So John was weeping because he was just like, man, who can who can read this? It says, and one of the elders saith unto me, weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. So what he's talking about is Yahawashai. He was able to loosen the seven seals, okay? And he says he will be from the, he's a lion from the tribe of Judah, the root of David. And the, today, if you, the, the, uh, the lion of the tribe of Judah, so the tribe of Judah would be you so-called African Americans, you so-called black people today, okay? So he's coming back looking like this, man. Like a sardine stone, okay? See, Jasper, sardine, okay? He's coming back looking with a, 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 a shade of brown, okay? Hair like wool, okay? As a matter of fact, I think it's Revelation uh, Selah here. can't find it here we go this is revelation one it's describing the heavenly father even more okay showing you that he's not a he's not the color black man okay it says this is revelation one and 13 and in the midst of the seven candlesticks one like unto the son of man clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So they're describing what the uh, what Yahweh Shai is going to look like and what he has on. So he's clothed with a garment down to the foot and a girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So the so Yahweh Shai, our Savior. He has hair that's white like wool. So who else, who on this planet, what type of people can have hair or does have hair that looks like wool? You guessed it. You so-called blacks. Okay. That's why, the, like I said, Yahweh Shah, he's coming from the tribe of Judah. It says, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. So he has feet like unto fine brass. Now let's look up fine brass. Because it's, it's really, like I said, it's really cringy when you keep hearing your people say that they're black. They're black. They're, you're not black. That's common sense. You're not a damn color. Okay, now brass. And this is all coming up as if it was gold. And as you can see, they have freaking idols.
trying to get a okay like this so this would be okay so this would be like this is brass right now what color is that it looks like it's like a gold but like a a, a, <clears throat> a different brown right look at our people all those pictures that i showed you matter of fact let's Let's go back to it. So keep this in mind. So this is like a, this is a this will be a, like a fine brass, okay? Brown. Now look at those people. Look at our people. Don't they look like the color brass? Okay. And they say, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, he would look like fine brass that was in a furnace. So there, he's going to be even like a, a, a darker, okay? A darker brown, okay? But all of these people have the color of brass in them. They look like a jasper or sardine stone, man. This woman here is not the color of her damn shirt, man. Okay? This woman here is not the color of her outfit. She looks like a jasper or a sardine stone. Okay. This guy here, he's not he, he he's not black. Okay. He looks like another shade of brown. This is not hard to understand. That's why, like I said, it's so cringy, okay, when you keep seeing things and your people are literally calling themselves a damn color, man. Are you crazy? Does that guy look black? Does he look black? Does he look like his shirt? I have not seen one person look like that man's damn shirt. Get out of the programming of your oppressors. They have totally uh, polluted your mind, man. We're not we're not black. OK, so like I said, that 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 is so cringy, man, to keep continue to hear. And you people uh, uh, act like it's a, a badge of honor. Black people stand up. I'm black and I'm proud. Man, you sound crazy, man. Come out of her, my people. Get out of this place. Get out of this wickedness, man. With your minds. Come back to your heritage, man. Because y'all are being destroyed further, man. So I pray that this lesson was edifying. Call Hala Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kadash. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Wa Abad Babal. This your brother Malachi, signing off. Shalom.